Today I am going to talk about how to find the impulse response, step response and the ramp response of the first order low pass system and which is also having a unit feedback system. Let's assume we have the negative feedback system which is shown as which is having the input in terms of S domain provided to this and we have this forward path G of S block and the output is going to be in terms of S domain is C of S and as I said this is the unity feedback system so this H of S which is present right here is going to be equals to 1 since this is a first order system this G of S is going to be 1 by ST and you can observe here at the denominator side we have this S which is having the power equals to 1 so of course this is the first order system and which has the time constant as t then c of s by r of s is going to be equals to g of s by 1 plus g of s h of s due to unity feedback system this h of s is equals to 1 at that case we are going to have g of s by 1 plus g of s since this is the first order system this g of s is a first order system so it has the s domain as 1 by st when you have this this c of s by r of s is going to be equals to 1 by st whole divided by 1 by 1 plus 1 by st which is equals to 1 by st plus 1 we set this as the first order low pass filter first order low pass system with the unit feedback system that is because uh, let's assume this as T of S stands for transfer function if this t of s s is equals to zero or at the lower frequency we know that s is going to be equals to j omega or this equals to zero at this case or the lower frequency this s is going to be equals to zero so we are going to get which is equals to one so this is finite for the lower frequency and coming to the higher frequency s is going to be equals to infinite at this case we say this as the high frequency for the high frequency we are going to have 1 by infinite plus 1 equals to 1 by infinite is going to be equals to 0 so for the high frequency we are going to have this as 0 so we say this as the first order low pass system we say this as a first order because we have at the denominator we have s to the power 1 so this t of s equals to 1 by s t plus 1 which is equals to C of S by R of S now finally this C of S is going to be equals to 1 by ST plus 1 multiplying with this R of S and when you talk about the input R of S let us write response or set an input and for the impulse in, in, for the impulse input we have input that is 
r of t which is equals to del of t when you do the laplace transform of this del of t this r of s is going to be equals to 1 at this case this c of s is going to be 1 by 1 plus st and in the time domain this is going to be equals to 1 by t e to the power minus t by t for and you can multiply e of t or you can write it as 1 by t e to the power minus t by t defined for time greater than 0 this happens we got this c of t when you take it in common like this capital t are the both numerator and the denominator we are going to get 1 by t whole divided by s plus 1 by t and when you do the uh, plus inverse we are going to get this thing so this is about the impulse input and when you provide the unit step input then this r of t is going to be equals to e of t when you do the Laplace transform this r of s is going to be equals to 1 by s and this c of s is going to be equals to 1 by s multiplying with s t plus 1 and when you do set in partial fraction and after that finding out its Laplace inverse this c of t is going to have a value is going to have value as 1 minus e to the power t by t this is for the unit step and for the unit ramp r of t is going to be t u of t then r of s equals to 1 by s square and this c of s is going to be 1 by s square multiplying with 1 plus st and after doing a certain partial fraction uh, this can be written as 1 by s square minus t by s plus t by s plus 1 by t and after doing this is going to be Laplace transform of the ramp signal so finally this c of t is going to be t minus this capital t multiplying with 1 minus c to the power t by this capital t defined for the time greater than 0 and this is the in terms of time output in terms of time domain and this is the in form of s domain you have to do set in laplace transform for this c of t and we are going to get this c of s again and this is how we can actually find out the response for certain inputs that is impulse unit step input and the unit ramp input and why we have saved this as the low pass filter and we say this as the low pass filter because this t of s at s is equal to 0 it is going to have certain value as 1 but when s is equal to certain infinite or far away from this origin at this case this uh, this amplitude is going to be 0 so because of that it is going to pass only the low pass uh, low pass filter or low pass system we say this as the low pass system because it is going to be providing certain results when the s is not equals to infinite or less than the infinite.